And uh, Ms. Wilson, you were pretty well on time. Thank you for that. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I'd like to focus on something that came out of the Commerce, Justice, and Science and Related Agencies uh, Appropriations Subcommittee last week. Are you familiar with the vote that they had on either Wednesday or Thursday concerning the NASA budget? I am painfully familiar. And as I understand it, uh, NASA would be cut roughly $1.6 billion, a little bit more than that. Um, James Webb Space Telescope, if I understand correctly from media reports, would be zeroed out. Uh, overall, in your judgment, what would be the impact on NASA if the CJS uh, subcommittee proposal for NASA becomes governing law? Congressman, I try to make a point of not uh, dealing in conjecture. So I, I will say a couple of things. One is all my planning right now is based on uh, the 2010 Authorization Act as supported by the 2011 con full year continuing resolution looking to the President's 2012 budget proposal. If what you say happened, um, it goes without saying that, that um, my efforts to, to keep the gap between the end of the shuttle era and an American capability to take humans to orbit, um, if not close it, as we are all, I think we're starting to do, uh, I would not be able to do that. The gap between the end of shuttle and another American capability to take humans to the International Space Station would, would increase, and it's un, untold how much that would increase. If I had to sacrifice science, which I would not choose to do, um, you know, something like the James Webb Space Telescope that uh, when we started Hubble, dark energy didn't exist. At least we didn't know about it. Uh, when we launched Hubble, there was no such thing as extrasolar planets. Um, so those kinds of discoveries would probably go lacking unless some other nation stepped forward and did it. Are you familiar enough with the CJS proposal to be able to itemize for us the impact it has on specific NASA programs? Yes, sir. Other than James Webb, we know would be zeroed out. But yes, if you would, please illuminate us. So I, I'll take it for the record and uh, bring it back to you. But there, it's across the board. Um, for the FY11 budget, Congress uh, proposed $1.8 billion for the Space Launch Systems uh, uh, program. How much of a role is the Marshall Space Flight Center supposed to play in the SLS? Sir, Marshall is critical. Marshall is where I house the program office for the for the SLS. Uh, the SLS program is at, is at the Marshall Space Flight Center. Um, they will lead the development of the heavy lift launch vehicle and and its ground systems in coordination with the Kennedy Space Center. Uh, they will integrate the vehicle uh, or be, be a part of the integration of the SLS with the MPCV that has the program office for the, for, at Johnson Space Center. So, Out of that $1.8 be how much does Nar Marshall need in order to fulfill the mission as you envision with respect to SLS? Robert Lightfoot was tell me, he would tell me more. Uh, I, I, you know, more than what? M more, than any, more than any number I give him. But, but of the $1.8 billion, the $1.8 billion, again, is for the, is for the entire uh, SLS system, which includes ground systems, uh, everything else. And I will have to get back to you. I'll get to you for the record. While the, the, the SLS program office manages all that money, all of the money is not spent or obligated uh, in and around, you know, Huntsville. It, it goes all over the country. So, but I, I, we can get you a breakdown on, on what's going to be in in Huntsville and what's going to be in Florida and what's going to be in Mississippi and other places. Well, you shared with us the critical nature of the Marshall Space Flight Center and the SLS program. Are you in a position today to uh, tell me exactly how much of that $1.8 billion is scheduled to be spent on Marshall efforts? Congressman, I am not in a position to tell you specifically how it's going to be broken out, but as the program office, with program management responsibility at Marshall, they will manage all of the money that's designated in the line item for the SLS. So if it's $1.8 billion, it is all managed out of the, the SLS program office at Marshall. My staff has been receiving information that out of $1.8 billion, it might be as little as $65 million that would in fact be spent at Marshall on the development of 
their part of the SLS system. Do you have any insight that you can share with us on whether that's I'll, right or wrong? I doubt that that's correct. I think that's a misunderstanding, but I'll take it for the record and get back to you. If you would, I would very much appreciate it. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman.